Welcome back to PSC Stack Byte. Today we keep on talking about the new capabilities introduced in the SharePoint Framework version 1.16. And specifically, I want to explain you how you can use the Graph SDK version 3 in your SharePoint Framework solutions. In fact, nowadays, with the latest release of SharePoint Framework at the time of this recording, which is 1.16, you can add an NPM package reference to the Microsoft Graph client package. And specifically, you need to reference at the time of this recording the version 3.0.2, which is the one supported by SPFX. As you can see in the SDK versions attribute of the yo-rc.json configuration file. Once you have imported the Microsoft Graph Client version 3 package in your solution, you can do advanced tasks like, for example, uploading large files into SharePoint Online or OneDrive for Business using the Graph SDK. So let me show you how you can do that in practice with a real demo. So first of all, let's have a look at the demo in action. So here I have uh, a web part that I created through which I can do the upload of large files into my OneDrive for business. And specifically, I can upload files into the documents folder of my OneDrive. So here I can choose a file and then I can, once I have selected the file, I can click on the Upload Large File button and the upload session will start. As you can see, there is an upload in progress right now. And here in the console, for the sake of completeness, we can see the chunks that are getting uploaded to the target OneDrive for Business file. So here you see how it works. But now let me switch to the internal implementation of this sample web part. First of all, I'm using SharePoint Framework 1.16 and I'm also using the NPM package of Microsoft Graph Client, so at Microsoft slash Microsoft-Graph-Client and I'm using version 3.0.2. Why? Because in the yo-rc.json file we see that from the SDK version's point of view the supported version for the Microsoft Graph Client is the 3.0.2 so that's the one we need to use. Then in the source folder for my web part, I can see that I have a web part where I'm using the MS Graph Client v3 type from at Microsoft SP HTTP and I have a variable defined as a private member in my web part type which is of type MS Graph Client v3. So that in the onInit method of my web part, I can use the well-known this.context of SharePoint Framework, I can use the MS Graph Client Factory and get a client of version 3 inside my Graph Client variable. And as such, I can provide that variable to the React component which will render the actual UI of my web part. So, in the uh, React component, in the properties, I have the Graph Client declared as one of the properties. In the state, I defined a potential collection of files that I want to upload, an uploading Boolean status, the percentage of complete of the upload, and the file name that I'm uploading. And then in the actual TSX React component, I do the following. I initialize the state like we usually do. And then in the render method, I render a default button which will trigger the upload large file function and an input file through which I will get the file to upload. In fact, whenever I change the uh, reference file by the input type file, I will trigger this function which will store in the uh, state of my React component uh, the selected files, which will be just one file in my scenario. And when the user will click on the default button to upload the large file, I will simply trigger this function and if I am uploading, I will show the progress indicator with the percent complete of the upload. So the key uh, section of this demo is the upload large file function. In this one, first of all, I need to have uh, my graph client object, otherwise it will not work. Then I get from the state the single file that the user wants to upload. And just for the sake of debugging, I log it on the console window. Then I create a file upload object of Microsoft Graph SDK. As you can see, the file upload as well as all of the other types that we will use right now are coming from the at Microsoft Microsoft Graph client package. 
So let me scroll down again, and here we create the file upload object. Then we define a OneDrive large file upload options type through which I will define where I want to upload my file, what the file name will be, the uh, size of the chunks that I want to use for the upload, if there will be a conflict, what behavior I want to have, and then I define a few handlers. Specifically, I define the progress handler. So whenever there will be a new chunk uploaded, I will get a range as an input for my progress anonymous function. And I simply log it in the console for the sake of demoing stuff. And then I define the value of the percent complete so that I can set the state and to update accordingly the progress indicator. And then I define a OneDrive large file upload task, which will be based, and here is the key point, on the client property of my graph client object. In fact, now with SPFX116, we have the .API property that we used to have also in previous version of SharePoint Framework. But we also have the .client, which allows us to provide our secured context of SharePoint Framework to the Graph SDK. Then we provide the file object that we declared and the options. And once we are done, we can start uploading the file and we can start the upload large file upload task. And we will get, when it will be done, an upload result. In the upload result, we will get the information about the drive item that got created by the upload session. And as such, we can stop uploading while we can set the uploading to true when we start the upload phase. So it is uh, quite simple once you know what to do, but it is important to remember that you need to adhere to the requirements defined by SharePoint Framework. So for example, the specific version of the graph SDK version 3 that you want to use. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.